welcome to another training is a question and answer session for mtm router i'll focus specifically on mtm router okay another one say can i use it in ocean state um he's talking about um, a state in nigeria if you if uh, a lot can use mtm router in ocean state one of the states in nigeria said the answer yes of course you can use it in any part of the country as long as uh, the location accepts the network this on steel router how do you block a connected user from the router i did a video on that how to block a connected user from the router i still give a response to nelson i say simply log into the router configuration page then double click on the connected device option you will see all the users on the router double click on the option to block then the user will be blocked okay i have a video on how to block a connected user you can see the video you can check out the video on the description below okay just subscribe to your channel that's from uh, martins a quick question how can you turn off the power bank okay it's talking about the 2a6c talking about the 2a6c but we're talking about this is a uh, model 2a6 for model 2a6c i just answer it i'd have a video on it you don't turn off the power bank you cannot turn off the power bank i already said you can turn on the notification button in this channel to alert you i actually did a video on this uh, as i promised Please, can I buy a new SIM to it if the other SIM is stolen? Yes, you can buy. Um, you can replace the SIM on a model 2A6, on all the modems of the MTN router. How can I log into my brother router without knowing his password? I say you need password to access the router. Any access without password is an illegal access, uh, which is true. Um, we don't encourage you to break the password illegally. So we want you to get the password if you don't have access to the password follow a legitimate means to get access to to get the password okay again say this router range is too low how do i increase it um i say thanks for this intelligent question you can use wi-fi range extender um it's a, a wi-fi range extender is a device that works for expanding wi-fi signal for main router to further rooms completely covers network dead zones with stronger signal and to optimize your home wireless coverage now um so you can extend the range by using an extender okay you have one you can plug and uh, you don't need any settings T to the setup is very easy and you can connect it to your router and it will extend to cover a wide range Is it normal for the Wi-Fi and 3G and 4G LED indicators to blink regularly? Uh, yeah, the answer is yes. It blinks. It's allowed. They can blink. This question says, the MTM SIM that came with my MTN, okay, router is showing invalid and I can't log in through the IP address. I say try using the SIM on your phone to see if it works. If it does not work on your phone, then the sim card has gone bad and you need to contact mtn service exactly when your sims shows invalid something might be wrong with the sim the best way is to use your phone con use that sim on another phone on a mobile phone and see if it works and if it works that means the sim is okay if it does not work just change the sim but sim can always go bad can it go bad okay this one said please two of my devices don't dictate my router wi-fi at all what could be the problem okay that's from pi or somewhere as i ask i tried say are other devices dictating the my wi-fi if the answer is yes then the problem is from the two devices and if the answer is no then the problem is from the mtm router if the problem is from the MTM router, you can follow the steps in this video to resolve it. Okay, this is um, another device are now connecting to your router. Now, if your devices don't dictate the router, try another device. 
if the it connects that means the problem is from those devices but if it still does not connect check the router it might be coming from the router then you can watch this video on my um MTN router not connecting to laptops and resolve it to see how I was able to resolve the problem. Okay, this said uh, okay, I love it. It taught me a lot. Thank you, thank you, oh, Emmanuel. Thank you, Emmanuel. Um this one said I bought my yesterday, it's not working till now. I reply if the device you bought just yesterday is not working, the device the advice is to simply take it back to the seller as quickly as possible. Yes. You bought something and it's not working, just return it. Okay, this is from your web media. Say, please, how can I get this power bank? I have same model of high netflix. Okay, just visit any MTN service and you can get one for yourself. Any MTN customer service nearest to you, you can get one for yourself. This question said, okay, simply explain. Thank you, Mercy, for your compliment. This one says, my question is, when there's no light, can I use the power bank? And also, I'd like you to do a video using the power bank to power the router without connecting the power bank to electricity. The power bank functions as just you have your power bank, your phone power bank, it, the power bank stores electricity electric current and um, you can charge it to full and then use it so just like your um, laptop battery your laptop battery when it's charged you don't need to connect the laptop to electric current electric main source and the laptop will be on using the charged laptop battery the same way the power bank will be on uh, while you are working with the empty high netflix router okay say so i almost felt cheated until i watched this video i thought i bought a wrong router okay this is um lillian enewulu um, probably she bought um mtn router mf2 a6c and um it looked different from the previous mf2 a6 because it has a uh, the mf2 a6 c has antenna and the other one the previous one just two a6 has no antenna so she felt cheated but watching the video she was okay how do i use my router 247 okay i responded um to use your router 247 depends on you simply power it on 247 and make sure you have enough data and you will use it 247 can I pay this power bank separately because mine is not lasting up to two hours after power interruption? Yes, of course, you can buy it separately. Okay, this one, hi, thank you for the help. I have a problem with my MiFi, with my router. It connects with everything. It connects with everything, working fine. But it's always telling there's no internet connection. I have tried everything and I have no solution. I have 89 gigabyte on it and I don't want it to be a waste. Okay, this is from Fie Kemi. Okay, just so hi Fie, thank you for your question. Please, when last did you add data to the router? Sometimes the data balance showing on your MTN router must have expired without you knowing. Please try this. I gave a recommendation. I said buy a small amount of data to add to the router and try browsing immediately. If it works, it means that the 89 gigabyte balance you are seeing there is not valid again please let me know if this response helps you out you know why sometimes you, your router will show that you have a data balance of so and so and probably that balance data balance is not valid okay she replied and said thank you very much i will try that now okay let me see he said it worked just now when i bought data thank you very much for your help so that means it's exactly what i said whenever you have that issue sometimes the data there uh, my show is still not expired but in the real sense it's not working so you have to use another data and not to it but she come up with another question mm. she said um, I can't see okay she said 
I can't seem to log into dashboard. I want to change the settings for the router, but the admin dashboard isn't going through. I think I advise her again. If you can't log into the router, we want to log into the router mm, on your browser. Check Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla, or Microsoft Edge. Type this IP address and then use admin or password. Please check out for my video. I explain it in details there. Check the description page down. You will also see the link. I say, okay. Say yes. She rep responded. It was a actually a conversation. Yes, I have. I did that exactly. I've been using the thing and I even used it this morning, but it doesn't even go at all again. It directs me to the MTN dashboard and says that my data bundle is finished and I still have the 100 MB I subscribed. I just bought the router a few days ago, but it's still troubling me so much. I'm exhausted. I have paraded the MTN office several times. Okay, and I said, um, if it directs you to MTN dashboard, that means credit is exhausted. That's the simple truth. When you want to browse with MTN router and it directs you to MTN board, dashboard, for, for purchase of a data, that means you don't have data on that router. And you can't log in. Don't have data. It's requesting you to log in. And I also advise to be sure that nothing is consuming the data at the background because there are apps that may be consuming data at the background. Okay, when she tries browsing, when you try browsing and the data is exhausted, it will direct you to MTN dashboard to for purchase of data. Okay, um, this is for Henry Uwe. So I'm happy to see a review on this router. There's this feature I've been eager to see, but it's not mentioned here. I want to know if the router supports port forwarding. That's the only thing that supports stopping me from buying the router. Okay, I want to announce to you that Mr. Henry, I want to announce to you that yes, it supports port forwarding. And definitely, you'll see a video on it. And okay, this one is my MTN high uh, standard power bank doesn't go off. There's always a blue light on, even when the router isn't on itself. Is it normal or any solution to it? It's normal. But MTN needs to do something about it to improve the flow. Exactly, it doesn't go off. The power bank does not go off. Uh, ABC Freak even contributed. Abasi Freke says always thanks. One more thing. Okay, that's Abasi Freke. Okay, she say please how do I activate the bandwidth on my router? Okay, it's not broadcasting even after I've enabled it on the admin portal of the Wi Fi. I need her please. Okay, um you know I ask a question which model of the router are you using? You know why? Because it's easily, if you're using MF2SC, it's easier. 2SCC, uh, you need to do small configuration to get that uh, 5.0 gigahertz bandwidth. Because MTN comes with two uh, frequency, 2.4 and 5.0. 5.0 is uh, faster if you want to have a fast internet. And then 2.4 covers wide range if you're interested in covering wide range. And not interested in the speed, and um, and I said, and secondly, which device, the laptop or phone, an operating system, are you working on? This information will help my response. Okay, she replied, I'm using the MF two S six C model. I'm connecting two phones and a laptop with the router. Operating system for the phones is Android eleven, and the laptop is Windows eleven operating system. Now I told her my, uh, I observe that 5 gigahertz bandwidth does not broadcast while using the 2S6C but does broadcast in mf 2 ss and devices with okay generation and above enable can connect to it okay now I actually did a video on how to make it broadcast but I explained to him here that you cannot just broadcast directly um 
okay and don pelly contributed say does your have wi-fi he's asking uh about sunday uh but sunday say yes about yes he manually tweak it which you also see the video down which i did also but i had to manually tweak the settings before the five point gigahertz wi-fi bandwidth was broadcasted and could be connected to it was only the 2.4 gigahertz that was broadcasted out of the bus when i turned it on it really gave me a tough time yes um you have to do some adjustment for you to have the 5.0 gigahertz on um, 2A6C MTN router but it works it works actually but you have to do small settings which you can also see in my video uh, in my settings uh, the link you see the link in the description below I've done a video on it there's a video on that okay I hope you do enjoy the time thank you for watching expect us to answer more questions on the router to review questions and give answers to questions on the router and on the forthcoming videos please subscribe and share the video thanks bye